Hi guys. Happy Monday. Okay, let's talk about fundraisers. So, uh, I've been doing this, guys. Oh, I've been with Cincy for 13 years, but I've been doing fundraisers of various types for years. And that's what I love the most about this business because you can help so many people. And that's what fundraising is all about. Fundraising is about helping somebody raise money for a cause. There are various ways of doing it. You, I have done fundraisers face-to-face, uh, -face, fundraising events. I do a lot of those. I've actually done catalog uh, fundraisers. I've done online fundraisers. Just so many different ways of doing them. I've done uh, campaigns. There are lots of different things to do with that. I mean, I've done the Spoil Senior Campaign. I've done com campaigns for Moody Miracle League. Um, these are people with special needs. I have done fundraisers for schools, for individuals traveling. Done one for my daughter uh, when she traveled out of the country. Uh, I've done several for the veterans. I do those on an ongoing basis. Uh, various auxiliaries, you name it. Okay, so let me tell you about what happened just recently. So uh, one of my friends on Facebook sent me a message asking me to assist her son with raising money. And I'm going to read it to you. It says, Miles is wanting to ask my friends, ask me to ask my friends if anyone would donate $10 to American Heart uh, Association Fundraiser. So I thought I asked you. So when I received that message, I said, oh, good morning. I said, can I ask if I can help with a Cincy fundraiser? So this was Friday. She said with the uh, American uh, Heart Association, she said, how does it work? She said, I can definitely find out Monday once I contact the school. So I told her I would donate all of my commissions from my orders. She said, that would be that would be wonderful. I could definitely find out and get back with you. Thank you. So this morning early, <laughs> I received a message from her. And she said, they said yes. And the fundraiser ends on the 13th of February. Uh, she said, the lady told her who's working with this. And she said, as long as she's donating commissions, we are good with that. And to make the check payable to American Heart Association is what she said. So that was a go. So I gave her two options. I said, what we can do, we're going to do a virtual fundraiser. I said, I can make a group on Facebook so you can invite all your friends and family over there and I'll make posts over in the group. Or we can set this up in my VIP group that I already have set up. And you can invite your friends over there and I will create a post in the group and I'll pin it to the top along with a link that I will create for you. So I gave her the decision to choose which way she wanted to do it. So she said, we'll just leave it in your VIP group. I said, okay, that's fine. Okay, so she sent me her address, uh, her email and all that stuff and I made a link for her. So the next thing I asked her to do, I said, give me verbiage so I can put that verbiage in the group along with the link that I create for you and I'll pin it at the top of my VIP group so that she can tag her friends that she's inviting to the VIP group so they'll know where to go place the order. So this is how she labeled it. She said, help keep hearts healthy. Check out the Cincy Fundraiser today on Miles' behalf to support the Kids Heart Challenge and the American Heart Association. All proceeds will go towards his Kids Heart Challenge Fundraiser. So this is the statement that I made over there. So she said, does this sound good? I said, that's perfect. We're going to go with that. Okay, so I set the link up and got that set up. So at the time, we were targeting uh, fragrance flowers, the, the ones with the red in it. But we were targeting those first because this is the, the Heart Association, but it sold out. So I, I, I improvised. So I said, since that sold out, let me show you right quick what I have. Uh, okay. I said, well, since those sold out, this is the one that sold out. I said, we can target this one. So what I did, I took a Sharpie and I colored around this flower because it's, it's red around there. It's already starting to change colors. I said, we can target this. But at the same time, they can buy anything they want to buy from the link. 
But, you know, we were just trying to find something to target. So, um, I gave her all that information. And I made the same post on my personal page and tagged her. I tagged her in my VIP group. We already got one order so far. It just started this morning. So, I gave her the link to my VIP group to to send to all her friends and family. So far, she invited over 100 and some people. And I think five of them have accepted so far. Uh, and I'm going to follow up with her to make sure she messaged them directly. So he has a goal. His goal is to, is to, to donate $1,000. So he's already accomplished most of it. So his goal on our side is $450. But I'm saying that his ultimate goal is a thousand. This is a ten year old little boy, so I'm very passionate about helping people, especially kids. So I asked her, I said, "What is his personal reason for doing this?" So she told me that she said his his uh, grandmother died of, from a heart attack. His papa had congestive heart failure, and his other papa had a heart attack. So he has a personal connection with this is the reason why he's so passionate about helping to raise money to save lives. Can you imagine a 10 year old trying to raise money to help save lives? So right away I got connected with this. She also sent me a picture of him and on the post that I have on my personal page and my VIP group, I attached the story along with the picture so people can relate to who he is. The next thing I did, I went live. I went live and I talked about it. I'm probably going to go live again tonight. I went live earlier. So when I did the Spoiler Senior campaign, I went live twice a day until we met our goal. So I'm going to live because I'm going to go live and capture another audience. I captured some earlier. I'm going to do some tonight so I can catch even more people. So the goal is to look to see how many people out there are in need to raise money. So this one came to me. Sometimes you'll see them on your Facebook page where people are searching for ways to help raise money. And all they can say is yes or no. This, this young lady looked into it, checked it out, and we got this running all the way through the 14. I've also asked team members, if you guys want to partner with me to help Miles raise money. You're so okay to do that. You could totally use everything that I have set up. But I just wanted to tell you guys about the steps that I took to get this set up. And when I create the link in my uh, workstation, I'm gonna, let me see. I'm going to let you guys know how I label that. Uh, it's called Miles AHA found Fundraiser. Miles AHA Fundraiser. And I had to abbreviate it because... American Heart Association was too long. It was too many letters. So we, we shortened it. Um, but I just want you guys to see how easy that is. I turned it around and asked her, how can I help raise money through a Cincy fundraiser? How easy was that? That was super easy. And I've been working on it all day, uh, making posts and sharing things and asking people to share it out as well. So I'm about to go live again. I just wanted to tell you guys the step-by-step -step process and how I got this done. The next thing I think I probably will do is to make an album on Facebook so that I'll have it there. But for now, I'm working it all through my VIP and my personal page to get the word out. I think I might put it on YouTube as well. Okay, guys. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.